Hello everyone, here you are watching Dr. Bipin Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about herbicide resistance. So what is the herbicide resistance and how it's developed, we will talk and uh, type of herbicide resistance and mechanism of herbicide resistance development. This will, uh, this we will also discuss about that. So here the points are given like so over dependence on the chemical weed control. Uh, recently if you see the modernization of the agriculture, now we are depending totally on the chemical way of weed control and this is one of the reason behind that nowadays many biotype of the weed species that are showing the resistance toward the herbicide and Abel was the first man who determined that the evolution of herbicide resistant at a global level in 1960 he observed that the sensio vulgaris developed resistance against the triazin in India if we see that the wheat forming uh, where it, it is practiced mostly in the northern western plain where the rice wheat cropping system is the most common and in India Fallis minor is one of the wheat that is mainly found in the wheat and uh, isoprotron is one of the herbicide that used to control the Fallis minor but now many biotype of this Fallis minor recently registered uh, they are resisting at a particular dose of their isoprotron now the first minor is resistant to the isoprotron and this resistant biotype of uh, uh, weed species is a potential threat to the sustainability of the rice wheat cropping system in this north, uh, northwest plain zone now herbicide resistance we will talk about that it is the inherent ability of the weed species or biotype to survive and reproduce following a herbicide applied at a dose that is normally lethal to the vast majority of vast majority of its wild individual so resistance developed because of the inherent ability of a weed species and actually the weed uh, species previously it was uh, susceptible but now they will show the resistance because of the changes in the genetical makeup and uh, they will survive and reproduce and if you see the wild relative of that majority of its wild individual they will that will be killed at a particular dose but resistance biotype of that particular species will not kill and how it's happened because of the some genetical changes and what are different mechanism we will discuss in this video later on so herbicide resistance is a simply a altered response to the herbicide by the weed species which was earlier susceptible so susceptible biotype now previously they were susceptible and now they become the resistance because of the re altered response of the herbicide because of the actually genetical changes uh, as for the example if suppose we taking a uh, feather is minor that was previously susceptible to isoprotron but now they are resisting to that herbicide isoprotron so what are the type of resistance so it, we can see here the two type of the resistance cross resistance and multiple resistance in cross resistance there is the target site cross resistance metal and negative cross resistance so what is the cross resistance if we see that weed biotype is resistant to two or more herbicide due to presence of single resistance mechanism if a single resistance mechanism is responsible for the resistance of the weed species to two or more than two herbicide then we will call it as a cross resistance and very good example of this is the phalaris minor is now resistance to the isoprotron and phenomethylene because of this cross resistance so under the cross resistance that might be a target site cross resistance so target site cross resistance means a specific target if the herbicides are especially targeting a specific site or enzyme like targeting a site enzyme and if the resistance develop because of that uh, specific uh, target site and enzyme so that will call as a target site cross resistance and uh, if all the herbicide to which it has evolved resistance then because of the uh, they affect they are affecting the same Precise target or enzyme like example ALS acetyl lactate synthetase this is the enzyme and the inhibitor herbicide like sulfonylurea and Im imidazolinone and imidazolinone and soybean and uh, and because of this single precise uh, enzyme if the herbicide resistance any biotype any weed biotype if they are, that are developing the resistance to this ALS so definitely imidazolinone and sulfonylurea and imidazolinone these all herbicides uh, this weed will be resistance to this all herbicide and how it is happen because of this is 
changing and uh, uh, this because of the this they are affecting the a specific target site and now metabolic cross resistance or non target site cross resistance uh, it is said to be that one when the weed species is degrading all the herbicide to which it has evolved resistance by the same mechanism and pathway suppose this is a wheat and uh, this is a resistance resistance to a herbicide b herbicide c herbicide d herbicide how they are degrading the all the herbicide means this will this weed will degrade all these four herbicide by the same mechanism and pathway so if it is happening so then we will call it as a metabolic cross resistance now we will talk about the negative cross resistance it occur when the resistance weed biotype is found more susceptible to the some other herbicide than the wild type susceptible biotype and a very good example is given here that some triazine resistance feed that are found more susceptible to the nitrophenol and dinosaur if suppose this is a weed and it is showing the resistance resistance and it is uh, actually resistant now it is resistance to their suppose is a triazine triazine so when it is resistance to triazine now but it is become susceptible to this nitrophenol and dinosaur and if we compare the its uh, susceptible biotype those when it, it uh, those wild uh, species or biotype those are susceptible to triazine they were uh, not susceptible to the nitrophenol but now this biotype is resistance to the triazine but that is it is becoming susceptible to the nitrophenol and dinosaur if it is happening so then we will call it as a negative cross resistance now we will talk about the second that is the multi multiple resistance it refers to a situation when the resistance plant possesses two or more distinct resistance mechanism okay when some weeds species evolve resistance to two or more than one herbicide through the sequential selection then it is multiple resistance and very good example is a lolium residue means a weed species those which have more than two or uh, two or more than more distinct mechanism this lolium residue is resistance to a b c herbicide so they this uh, weed biotype uh, lolium residue resistance why because of it is having the distinct mechanism separate mechanism for this a b and c and because of this multiple mechanism it is having and it is uh, resisting to the multiple herbicide because of multiple resistance mechanism not a single not a single resistant mechanism so that is called the multiple resistance so what are the resistance mechanism we can uh, discuss here first is the alternate site of action enhanced metabolism sequestration compartmentation metabolism conjugation detoxification we first of all discuss about this alternate site of action a weed can develop um, resistance just by alter, uh, alternate site of action that will alter the site of action suppose a herbicide that is affecting a particular uh, weed through a particular site so what will happen because of the mutation or some other genetical changes the herbicide will alter the site of uh, mechanism so here we can see it is the modification in binding site of action of a herbicide due to due to some genetical changes in weed species for example Amaranthus citroflexus, Chinobodium album, Sensio vulgaris against the triazine herbicide. They alter the site of action. That's why they are uh, now uh, they are behaving the resistance. And uh, like one point mutation resulted alter the site of binding site of DL protein in chloroplast. So this is the one of the very good example. What happened because of the mutation in ultra uh, ultra uh, Amaranthus citroflexus. Uh, because of the mutation the previously the uh, herbicide was binding at a dl protein but now it is altered okay so that will not bind to the dl protein and when the dl pro the, the herbicide will not bind the dl protein then it will be not kill so this is called alternate site of action this is one of the mechanism now enhanced metabolism a rapid degradation or conjugation of herbicide into non-toxic or less toxic form 
so this is also one of the mechanism example is abutilon theophrasty against triazine so and other is the rapid degradation of the isoproteron into non toxic form in feather is minor catalyzed by the one of the cytochrome p450 monooxygenase enzyme this is one of the best example for the enhanced metabolism this is also one of the mechanism through that here is a b vitae may develop resistance sequestration and compartmentation it is either by the storage of a herbicide or its metabolite into cell vacuoles cell vacuoles uh, we know that we are having different vacuoles inside the cell so what will happen the herbicide will be stored here in the vacuoles so that they are uh, they will sequestrate in the cell and tissue from the site of action so they will not th that herbicide will herbicide will not go to go to the site of action so what will happen the weed develop resistance for example conizia species horse weed to the paraquet this is the very good example conizia species develop resistance against the paraquet because of this sequestration and compartmentation the fourth is a <coughs> metabolism it is a chemical reaction depend on the availability of a specific enzyme at the site of action some specific enzyme that will be available at the site of action so they, that will metabolize that herbicide into a non toxic and that is the region of uh, resistance development in the weed biotype conjugation it is the removal of the intact herbicide molecules from the main stream of plant biochemical system if the herbicide is going to be a part of the plant biochemical system and to kill the weed so what will because of the conjugation if the resistance will develop that that uh, plant or resistance weed will remove that intact herbicide molecules from that plant biochemical system so that the resistance weed will not kill so this is also one of the conjugation is also a mechanism after that here detoxification it is the process in which the product get converted into non toxic product and this can be enzymatic detoxification or non enzymatic de detoxification for example triazine atrazine get detoxified by the conjugate conjugation process with tripeptide transferase enzyme so glutathione plus atrazine when because of this specific gst enzyme what i call glutathione as transferase enzyme it converted into the 4 ethyl amino 6 propyl amino 2 as triazine and this is a non uh, toxic so this is the actually called the enzymatic de detoxification okay so detox uh, detoxification is also one of the mechanism through that the weed can develop herbicide resistance so this will are about the herbicide resistance how the herbicide what are the different type of the resist, uh, resistance Uh, types of the resistance mechanism and how it's developed so hope this video will be useful to you all and uh, how is this video you may comment here and uh, and try to share this video with your friends also though, so that they can also get benefit